Hello dear listeners, uh, this is the second uh, podcast on the Kabbalion Seven Laws of Reality and Being. And um, with the second podcast, we'll briefly look into the, the text, uh, the Kabbalion, and uh, its explanations for the first principle, which is the principle of a mental universe. So, as it says here, um, in the first chapter, um, Atkinson pays tribute to Hermes as the source of this teaching. So Hermes Trimegistus is the three times great Hermes um, and is the personification of wisdom. Now, the master key uh, that one should possess to unlock all the doors of the Temple of Knowledge is the explanation, is, is, is the knowledge that of the first principle which says that uh, the universe all existence is a uh, is mind basically it's um, it's an expression of mind or and 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 it's mental in nature so this is the first principle and it's most important because if one realizes these principles then all the six other principles that are explained in the book um, basically are the way how this mind principle manifests itself and how to work with uh, different um, principles or laws becomes uh, much easier. Um, so also in my book, The Seven Laws of Reality, uh, as the commentary, I also explain that in other traditions, spiritual traditions, wisdom traditions, uh, this principle of mind is also explained and um, especially there are, there is the, the Buddhist tradition of the Chitta Matra or the, the mind only uh, which um, says states that uh, everything is um, basically mental image uh, or um, everything is, is, a, is a nothing exists apart from consciousness that trans its objects um, so that's 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 another um, that's another um, sort of source of this principle that one can study and um, in the book I have made this uh, sort of um, parallelism that uh, uh, to show how important it is to understand the principle of mind uh, then there are even more refined and more subtle uh, interpretations or understanding of this principle um, for example in the Tibetan uh, knowledge tradition of the great perfection um, where you know this principle is explaining in much subtler uh, more refined and uh, um, sort of deeper way um, but that's obviously is the subject of another podcast uh, which we will do um, but for the moment that's, that, that's enough for the moment and um, in the next podcast we'll go into the six principles explained um, starting from the principle of cause and effect thank you for listening